All right, let me show y'all something really cool about this fish. Anybody know what this is? This is what we call a grass carp. They put them in these lakes to get rid of the grass, kind of a nuisance type thing. They grow this big, they eat all the grass, then the fish don't have nothing to kind of hide in, but they kind of put them in the lakes to control the grass. But this one out here has done reached its maturity, and actually I caught it where it shouldn't even be, out here in the Washita River. They didn't really release any in the Washita River, but they get out of the lakes and, and they're kind of a nuisance. But I'm gonna show you something really cool about these things. Man, right, if you'll take your knife right behind the gill plate, if you'll cut down in there on both sides beside the gill plate there, on the other side, and you reach in there after you cut around it, all right, check it out. We'll do the other side. Cut right behind the gill plate. Go down in there. You need a really sharp knife on the top side, right behind it. There's a little bone. You'll see it right behind the gill plate. No other fish really has that little bone like that, except these old carp. You reach in there. Man, that nerve's in there. All right. All right. Look at there. Let me wash this off for you. Get your water there. Check that out. Freaking huge teeth. That's in the back of their throat. Look how big those teeth are and they're serrated. Serrated blades. And they sit in the back of his throat and they sit right there. And while they eat the grass comes through it. You see in there? Eats the grass coming through it. It sits there and chews it up. Choose that grass right up. Isn't that pretty cool? Shredded blade, grass carp. Big monster teeth in them. You better look out.